welcome everyone. Thanks for joining us today. All right, so appreciate everyone joining in today and uh, a couple of takeaways that I hope that, that I'll convey to you today. Basically that uh, our products cover a wide range of functionality, including simulation, and that uh, the Simulia portfolio is, the, is an advanced offering that we have. And hopefully we can become your one-stop shop for simulation. Here's where we're headed. And as I mentioned, uh, the, the, the main focus will be the, the items in red there with the Simulia product line. And as Robert mentioned, we'll review the chat at the end and I can address any questions that come up along the way. So hold on, here we go. Our simulation products come from the familiar SOLIDWORKS brand and the Dassault system Simulia brand. A quick look at the, the SOLIDWORKS brand, which offers a, a powerful line of products, including SOLIDWORKS simulation for FEA, flow simulation for computational fluid dynamics, SOLIDWORKS motion for rigid body kinematic solutions, and SOLIDWORKS plastics for injection molding manufacturability type simulations. With these tools, many simulations can be achieved to help you design great products. As with the SOLIDWORKS CAD offering, most of them are available in different product levels. So, so we have like standard, pro, and premium to allow flexible purchase options based on your need. We've had some great presentations today that focus on those SOLIDWORKS simulation tools. Please review the videos on our YouTube channel for recordings of those. Uh, the focus, as we mentioned, of my presentation is going to be the simulation capabilities offered by Dassault Systems, specifically the Simulia portfolio of products. Who is Dassault Systems? First, a quick look at that. Uh, Dassault has over 13,000 employees worldwide that serve nearly 200,000 customers. The Simulia brand by Dassault is headquartered in Providence, Rhode Island. They have a very large user community covering all industries in many countries. CATI is one of 179 solution partners. There are also 165 alliance partners who provide complementary technology to expand the Dassault portfolio and its solutions. So what is this thing I'm calling the Simulia portfolio? Here's a, a quick summary, and then I'll dive into each. First is the Abacus Finite Element Analysis Tool. Handles a wide variety of, of structural and fluid simulations. The second product in the portfolio is called Tosca, which is the non-parametric design optimization tool. EFI-SAFE is an advanced fatigue analysis program to predict the life of products. And finally, EyeSight, which is a process optimization and a process automation and design optimization tool. So a little bit about the history of the Abacus portfolio and the Simulia portfolio. Started all with uh, Abacus Incorporated. They developed their FEA tool back in 1978. Uh, this is way before desktop computing was, was really a mainstay. Uh, Dassault purchased uh, Abacus in 2005 to form the start of the Simulia portfolio. The other three tools were added after that with EyeSight purchased from Ingenious Software in 2008. And then in 2013 saw the addition of the two remaining tools, Tosca and EpiSafe, from the acquisitions of Epi Design and Safe Technology. So for the remainder, I'll give an overview and some examples of each of these products. Followed by these, I'll give you some uh, information about the electromagnetic simulation capabilities in the Simulia line. First and foremost is Abacus, the finite element analysis program. That's really the workhorse or the, of the portfolio products. Abacus runs in a standalone interface with associative interface connectors that interact with your favorite CAD program. So there you see we have the add-ins list for SOLIDWORKS and Abacus CAE is, is one of those add-ins where we can do some direct imports uh, from the CAD tool over into the Abacus tool. Any updates that would be made on the CAD site can be brought over 
directly into the Abacus program, and uh, those changes get updated on the existing finite element model. So it's a really, really great uh, seamless interaction there. Python scripting is also available to customize the Abacus tool. <coughs> Material characterization is allowed and uh, quite useful when we're needing to come up with the material properties for nonlinear material behavior. That can be done right in, within the program, come up with those curves based on test data. The solutions can be performed either locally or on cloud, and high performance computing is available with multiple core solutions. Abacus can handle linear and nonlinear analysis and incorporate either the implicit or explicit solvers. Uh, nonlinear solutions that use the explicit solver and advanced general contact algorithm, along with fracture mechanics, allow capturing really true to life events like vehicle crashes where there's a high strain and, and plastic deformation. I'll show a couple of video clips of that in a bit. Composite shell elements are available and coast simulation with other tools like the Dassault XFlow program allow Abacus to interact with the other software. Here you see some screenshots of uh, various simulations that Abacus can handle, uh, which empower all levels of users from designers to analysts with increasing levels of sophistication and detail. So uh, some of the examples there, uh, some, a stent, as you see, expanding in, in an artery, a drop test of a phone, some sloshing in a tank where we can simulate fluid particles, uh, a very detailed crash model of a frontal collision. Um, tire hydroplaning uh, effects can be simulated as well. And here's a great video that shows the incredible capability to handle highly nonlinear complex simulations with many contact interactions and nonlinear material behavior. So full disclosure on this, this is not something that I performed. It was done by Dassault really to, to kind of showcase the capabilities of this uh, of the technology. Uh, and it was done on a high performance computing solve involving hundreds of CPU cores. So this is not a trivial simulation simulation by any means, but it really shows off the, the ability of the program to do some really, really great simulations. Now let's take a quick look at the Tosca optimization tool number two on the list of the portfolio. So Tosca optimization might be familiar to users of sim simulation, SOLIDWORKS simulation professional. Uh, if you've ever used the topology study within simulation professional, that study leverages this one part of this functionality over on the Simolia side. Um, <laughs> In, in the, the optimization, the topology optimization study, we can generate an organically shaped part that meets the needs of stress and deflection. We start with the design space that you see on the left and allow the program to remove material to generate a part of adequate stiffness to carry any imposed loads. So that's the topology optimization within Tosca. There are other aspects of it. The second is called the uh, a sizing optimization. So this would allow you to determine the optimal thickness of sheet metal parts. Um, so the images on the left of the automobile uh, chassis are color coded to show part thicknesses of the before and after optimized design. On the right, uh, you see the resulting lowered stress of an optimized sheet metal part. The third capability of Simulia Tosca is what's called bead optimization. This allows the generation of raised structures and thin panels to increase the stiffness of parts. So with these three optimization routines, they make Tosca a very versatile program that can handle a wide variety of parts. So we have the topology, the sizing, and bead optimization as part of Tosca. Okay, on to FE-SAFE, which is the Advanced Fatigue Program. 
I'll show you a couple of reasons why advanced fatigue simulation is important. First, here's a very interesting case study from Hyundai Motor Company. The fatigue analysis of a suspension arm. You see the arm uh, located in the, the test fixture there within the laboratory. This benchmark was used to investigate the effect of an overload as if the vehicle had hit a curb. And there are three scenarios that are investigated. The first was essentially a constant amplitude, low level load. So the load was not changing over time. EFISAFE predicted the fatigue location at the top of the bolt holes, and this is where the part failed during tests. The second scenario was to scale the load up to imitate the load applied at the point when the vehicle hit a curb. Again, and as you'd probably expect, EFISAFE predicted the failure location at the top of the bolt holes once again. This was also verified in testing. The third analysis was to combine the first two scenarios, an overload followed by a constant amplitude load. Based on the first two results, it would, it would seem logical to predict the same failure location. However, this wasn't the case. The failure location, as identified by EFISAFE, shifted significantly up onto the arm of the component. Again, this was validated in the physical tests. So this shows quite clearly that the sequencing of loading can have a dramatic effect on the failure location, an effect impossible to incorporate except by using sophisticated fatigue analysis software. Advanced fatigue software is needed also because cracks may not start in areas of maximum stress. On this drive shaft component, the crack did not start from the point of maximum stress. The results were confirmed by testing. So the more complex the loading, the less correlation there is between stress plots and life plots. And therefore, it's uh, dangerous to assume that the high stress points are the only ones that need to be checked for fatigue. FEA stresses are only one part of the story. Another part of the story is the load history itself. Additional functionality can be added to EFISAFE to support fatigue analysis of welded joints with the Verity module. So those, that's an add-in module that you can purchase that uh, allows you to handle the uh, welded, welded joint fatigue. Thermomechanical fatigue can also be handled with the Turbo Life add-on. And fatigue life prediction for elastomers is enabled with EFISAFE rubber. So some, some great specialized uh, functionality there that can be added within the FESAFE program. Last but not least, last but not least is the portfolio called uh, EyeSight, the process automation tool. Let's take a look at that now. So if Abacus is considered the workhorse of Simulia, EyeSight could be considered the backbone that allows everything to work together. Process automation is set up in EyeSight using an easy to use graphical workflow. You see a workflow here that involves some scripting as well as uh, SIM code and Excel and Abacus. And uh, this is the typical graphical user interface that's used to just drag and drop, add those components, and then uh, set up the parameters in each. Multiple supported applications can be added to the workflow. You'll notice the icons shown here for many familiar ones, including SOLIDWORKS and Microsoft Excel. Many processes can be simulated, including popular ones like Design of Experiments, Monte Carlo, Six Sigma. Uh, in the next few slides, I'll, I'll briefly show how everything kind of tied together to optimize a motorcycle braking system. So here's a series of screenshots that show that. We're looking at a structural optimization process for the front brake disc of this motorcycle. So we need to establish an optimal design that's lightweight and provides the effective braking power required for high performance riding. 
We have several drivers for the optimization process, light weighting, performance, robustness, and cost reduction. There are many options for the starting point of the design based on the physical restraints of the environment, including disk size and the connectivity to the disk support slider, uh, spider. Excuse me. So a design is chosen to meet the design objectives and the exercise of weight reduction begins. Tosca generates the lightest design that will meet the design objectives. Here you see the iterations with light weighting applied that still meets the design objectives that have been set forth. And then once we've come up with that design and within Tosca, we take that over into Abacus to confirm that the design is acceptable based on the breaking load. So the result is a design with a better performance and lower cost. Let's pivot over to now the electromagnetic spectrum for Simulia. Simulia's flagship solution is called CST Studio Suite, which includes an additional design solution called Opera, as well as access to EyeSight, as before in the structural simulation for complex solution optimization. CST includes a wide variety of simulation techniques, including four general purpose solvers, 20 application specific solvers, including broad range electromagnetics, thermal, mechanical, fluid dynamics, multiphysics. No matter if you need to evaluate the currents produced on a naval ship or the signal integrity of a PCB mounted ship, CST is industry's preferred design solution. For low frequency design, CST Studio Suite includes low frequency solvers and another tool called Opera, which has enhanced material property capability and analysis for electric motor design. EyeSight can run CST with a high number of parameters and graphically show combinations with best goal values achieved. The Simulia structural and electromechanical products represent a great combination of tools to handle challenging design simulations and help you per perfect your products before taking them for produ production. I'll refer you to our, our YouTube channel again. Uh, there will be a dedicated presentation on the, the CST uh, Simulia product line as well. So there'll be some more detail pre presented there. Quick word about uh, licensing. The Simulia licensing is handled using tokens and trigrams, allowing for flexibility in deciding which functionality is needed within the portfolio. Tokens and available credits determine how much computing power is required so you can leverage the high performance computing on multiple cores to the degree that you need that. The value offered by the Simulia portfolio is all encompassing. High performance computing is available to handle even the largest of jobs. Optimization is an important part of the process and it's all tied to the familiar CAD tools like SOLIDWORKS. So I hope you've taken away some good information about what we offer at CATI related to simulation and understand the depth of functionality covered by the advanced simulation tools. This has been a, a brief introduction to the tools and uh, if you'd like more, please reach out to us. We're happy to provide additional details and demonstrations as needed. So that wraps it up for this presentation. Thank you and I'll